Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new series here where we're doing the luxury hotel base. So my idea with this base is to try and have a load of dupes which are going to be all of my Twitch subscribers and Patreon members will be in the base and they won't have to do anything. There'll be a complete downtime and we'll have three caretaker dupes that will look after the entire base. Uh, plus we're going to make it nice and aesthetic. So it's going to be beautiful. We'll have max morale, bedrooms, all, all the works, views to space, everything. So uh, without any further ado, let's get cracking because we need to get started. Uh, we're going to do it on a classic size and we decided, we just decided we're going to try and do a rhyme one and find it. Uh, so we can deal with the cold. Um, I should say at this point as well for anyone watching on YouTube, the, the, these videos will be long VODs. Um, I'm still not editing them down like I said in the last run. Uh, I don't think full VODs edit down nicely uh, and I also really don't have time. So unfortunately these are going to be full length VODs if that's not your thing. My apologies, this probably won't be the series for you, but uh, if it is then welcome along and hopefully you get something uh, interesting at it. But say I put these up because some people watch them uh, and I think some people enjoy and uh, find them useful. So uh, even if they're not to everyone's taste, that's fair enough. So let's uh, let's keep going with that. So I'm picking this one at Geoactive. I think that looks quite good. I mean, Rhyme is already Geoactive plus some Metal Caves. I mean, you can't complain about that. Those are good ones to say. I've not chosen a specific seed. We are just going to deal with whatever we find and uh, keep going. Okay, do the normal loading in. <laughs> um, right, I haven't thought too much about these starting dupes, but there's usually usually what we want to go for. Uh, you always want a digger and you always want a researcher. The, the third one is you can kind of um, kind of do something a bit different with it. Um, I'm kind of thinking. So obviously I've got DGSM on, so we'll use we'll use DGSM because it makes uh, pretty pretty good tubes. Um, let's say I do use this one because I think if you rolled enough, you'd end up with what you wanted in the end anyway. So it's kind of just shortcuts clicking a lot. There's still a lot of clicking. I do wish there was a drop down for this that so you could just. Uh, click on it and uh, have that. There we go. Cry. Uh, there we go. Um, and then these will be our caretaker dupes. So Camille uh, will be our head caretaker. Um, okay, we'll have a. Or oh, in fact, the scientist will probably anyway. The digger's going to be the head caretaker because you know why not? Uh, what else do we want from these rocket tree? We're doing doing a bit of rocketry so maybe we go silence some science and piloting uh three four ten eleven eleven eleven's good eight's not actually that good five three yes yeah, so we'll change that to rocketry and make them too smart is usually the best uh the best starting traits where is it Big learner there we are. Uh, just pick one that's not too bad out of these. Uh, can't do doctoring, that's perfect. And Magna Yodel. Uh, this will be the assistant uh, caretaker. There we go. These are our caretaker dupes. And we want. Um, we want an operator really, so we can do operating and carrying. Let's get a triple tube maybe. I mean, that's not great. Um, operating, tidying, suit wearing. That's the one. We'll take the. Uh, where is it? Take mechatronics because that's just a broken tray. It's probably just the best tray in the game. So we'll just take that, you know, because we can. Mm -hmm. We'll go doctoring as well, because we're probably going to do that. And streaker, perfect. Now I can come up with a name for this uh, this one. Um, uh, what do we call this this one? Uh, uh, yeah, take it number three. There we go. <laughs> 
Undertaker's a slightly different role. Hopefully there will be no undertaking in this place. We did kill a few dupes on the most dupes run. Oh, we could be dogs, dogs, but I like dogs, buddy. Um, luxury, the luxury hotel base. Uh, dogs, buddy. There we go. We'll just do all of the all the stuff we don't want to do, and in we go. So, like I said, um, anyone that is on my subscriber list or is on my Patreon will be added to the base, and that includes anyone that subscribes or joins later on. Um, they will have to do some work at the start. So I'm gonna. I'm not just gonna use three dupes to set up the base because it will take ages. So the my uh, subscribers and Patreon supporters will come in and help build the base, but then with the ultimate goal of not having to do anything later on. So, uh, a <laughs> girly my girl face. Welcome in. So we have some water, and then to say the one of the first things we always do when we start is have a look at the temperatures. Now because this is rhyme, everything's cold. It's not really a surprise. Um, and we need to get heating stuff quite quickly. We can stay in this middle area, and what we'll have to do is go dig... Um, we'll, we'll start by making a, a normal base. I say I will play on triple speed. So I was doing pause where I need to. Um, we'll put the ladder down here this time, because last time I did not leave enough room for the laboratory that we can put around the... Uh, um, around the printing pod, so we'll, we'll allow for that. And what we'll immediately do is dig across. Exactly, because we can go triple speed, unlike the most dupes run that uh, was not triple speed. Uh, we can come across here. Uh, of course, we can do oxalite. We don't lose any option from digging oxalite, so that's good to know. Uh, we'll plop that down there. And then Maybe we, if we build the base off this center, so we can go left and right and make this the center of base ladder, uh, that would leave us with, so if you do ladder pole, then uh, a door here, and then we'll put, uh, we'll eventually put four toilets, but we'll start with three, of course, because we don't need four. And uh, we'll come across there. And we'll just up the priority on that. Let's get that done first, and we'll put some beds in. Uh, that's the wrong one. Put some beds in. And start making a bedroom. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I, what, what am I doing? Uh, I have chat to help me out. Toilet's this side, sink's that side. If we're coming in, uh, coming in that way. Thank you. A brain fart. Mm -hmm. So, so, we'll build that there. Uh, we don't really have a lot of metal. <laughs> We'll need to uh, go find some of that. Uh, we don't need the tutorials, I think we'll be alright. I make the tutorials, I don't watch them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we should be fine. Oxygen. We're struggling with oxygen a bit up here. Because there's not enough airflow, so that's definitely a good tip. Always keep your ladders and your vertical shafts two tiles wide. One is not a lot for oxygen flow. So I would recommend that. Okay. Get these filled up. Some water in the sink. So we can set these to left and use the copy settings button. Uh, do not have any dirt. I can tell you I have any dirt. I'm van near. <laughs> Uh, sorry, the tutorials are correct. The gameplay may not be, I cannot guarantee. We will, we will try. Uh, yes, follow the tutorials. <laughs> uh, yes, so we will get, we'll get a bedroom, we've got a bathroom set up. I think that's a uh, success for the first cycle. We can even room them in if we can manage it. And uh, yeah, then we will we'll get cracking on the research too. We can pop that there. Yep, thank you. I don't, did I say something about tutorials being on? I swear they don't usually come up. Uh, and then we can, yeah, say so we can turn this into a laboratory around the uh, around the printing pod because we've got a light in here. Uh, okay, is there a, is there a setting for uh, tutorials or something? Recent. Guess not. I don't know why they're coming up. Do they always come up? Am I just going mad? I, don't, I swear they didn't used to. 
Raise is always a work. Okay, but first night, so we managed to get a tree. We didn't quite get the bedroom because that uh, the the oxalite gave way on us, but that doesn't really matter. We uh, we don't need the room bonuses at this point. The main thing is we have toilets for them to not make a mess on the floor, sinks for them to not get their hands dirty, and beds for them to sleep in. The beds are kind of optional in cycle one, but it's all doable, so usually a good idea to start with that. Start everyone run in a very similar way. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, it's monkey. Uh, so yeah, we got to do. Well, we need more more copper. Copper is the issue here. So yeah, let's uh, let's go up and find this vein. We can grab two. We might also consider draining this water into the. Oh, we got loads of water. Not going to be an issue. Um, and we'll just put some manual generators over here and connect that up. Uh, we will. We need a second science building in here for this to be a uh, this to be a laboratory. So we'll probably just have to plop another research station in. If you know me from YouTube, welcome in. Yes, I do also make YouTube videos, of course, including this video. This this is also a YouTube video. So welcome to a YouTube video. You are now also on YouTube. We'll be on YouTube together. Hi, Sandra Outline. Welcome in. See so many people back. I'm very excited for the new run. Now we're going to be doing a lot of kind of standard stuff to start. I think uh, what makes this run unique will be a bit later on, but that tends to be a theme. It tends to be a theme with my runs is that they t tend to be more late game focused, you know, because I feel like the early game kind of got the early game down basically. Right. Uh, we could. Uh, okay, let's get going with the meal prep, um, and then we need some oxygen. That would be a good idea. Well, just, uh, just run that to there. Okay, and then we can uh, start working across the bathroom as well. Start sizing this up. Same with the bedroom. Um, as long as we don't disrupt any water, which we won't, that's fine. It's always good to have the performance as well on a new run. You know, we've got the, the nice. This is the luxury hotel run, yes. So the idea is why lovely Twitch subscribers and Patreons will be brought in as dupes. We'll have to build a base, but we're going to build a nice aesthetic space base with all all of the lovely luxuries we can we can give them, and they will never have to work a day. Uh, bedroom missing a tile? Is it? Should be sixteen. Oh yeah, okay. I swear I counted to sixteen on the uh, the digging tool, but apparently not. So yeah, we've got a little barracks. We've got a little green. Um, Hopefully this should be now be a laboratory, right? No industrial machinery, I see. So that, um, that's not going to work. <laughs> I forgot about that requirement. Let's, uh, let's take this out then. Where are we going to put the... Oh, we've had a bit of a spill, I see. That's not ideal. Let's, uh, let me do it the ration box. So we'll start getting a load of carbon dioxide building up down the bottom. You can see it's already slowly falling away. Uh, we can dig across here too. And if we pull this water together and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it over there. Maybe we can move the ration box down. Uh, let's put that there. We just leave that. Okay. Cancel deconstruct. We'll leave that in, and that should count. In fact, that probably is that is technically a laboratory already. We just have no power for this. Um, if we sort this out, we can probably put some stuff down here. Uh, let's, uh, let's maybe not dig that up. Probably be a good idea. Hi, Andy. Welcome in as well. Okay, is this? Mm, we might struggle getting this down because there's quite a lot of water on this level. Yeah, we, um, also if we then dig this ladder down, we're going to make a complete mess, which is not great. We can dig into here. Ugh. None of this is, uh, is perfectly fitting what I'm trying to do. Well, um, we'll temporarily set this up, I think, like that. That'll be fine. So the main thing is we'll start getting the research going. We are, uh, 
I feel like we're wasting time otherwise, so let's uh, get going on that. Come on. We need to research to get everything else done, but in the meantime we'll carve ourselves out a little base. Uh, there we go. We start putting in um, a little mess hall. Yeah, leave space for some more bedrooms. And then we need to already start having to think about Atmos suits. So the least thing I learned, because I, I tried this before actually a long time ago, where I made a lovely, beautiful base. I think I must have done it maybe, I'm thinking three years ago, maybe even four, like a while ago in the base game. when I didn't really know what I was doing so much. Uh, and that meant that I was building in space with no Atmo suits, and it was bad. Uh, I think I used a lot of oxygen up just to keep them going. Um, we've got a guide on what to do. I do indeed. The tutorial bite you're looking for is called Game Structure. Um, I can find a link for you on there. I mean, hopefully I'll take you through uh, through all the things we need to do as we go through the run. Um, let's grab another dupe and uh, first into the base. Yeah, see, uh, if we can, a good one. I like, yeah, the research, yeah, this is, the, I mean, the strength's not great. But uh, let's take a Catalina, and uh, Joe Kiddo is first in as my highest tier Patreon member. So thank you, Joe, and welcome in. I'll say, the dupes will be supporting us, uh, build the base, but later on, they will then be able to, uh, uh, to live in luxury, so they're going to have to do a bit of work for now, but that'll be good. Oh, all right, okay, JKLM got it. beat me to it whilst I was uh, sorting with that. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Is that 60? Ooh, okay, yeah, this is, seems seems a faff to uh, do it this way, to be honest. Over the top. All right, we already got uh, that done, so what we also need, uh, we grab the water cooler and the advanced research. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can go grab the laboratory bonus back. <laughs> this is uh, a little bit not ideal, to be honest. It's not not a good place for this. Um, I'm kind of thinking already we should make a better water tank. Because the carbon dioxide is going to build up here, which is not a good place for them to run. Plus the water is completely in the way, so this is not good. Not good at all. Um, what I'm tempted to do is send this sideways Ugh. or to the right. Let's uh, let's do that. We'll break through and we will send the water over here. We'll, we'll make a pool this way. It'll uh, ping its way across. <laughs> so. Great. Yeah, so we'll, we'll move the water, because the water's in the way, and also the carbon dioxide is going to build up right where I've just put that. Alternatively, I could move that, but... Eh. We'll do it this way. Oh, is the water going to freeze down? Oh yeah, the water would freeze down. Good point. This is rhyme. I forgot about that. <laughs> Although it's quite a lot of water, so it may not freeze. Alright, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now. I forgot we're on rhyme. Yeah, we better get on with, uh, with the research quite quickly. Let's stick the eight beds in, uh, and we can also start working on a little, well, we'll do, we'll do a great hall, of course, uh, so we'll leave room for uh, that. We can open these doors as well, another little tip, if you just leave the doors open, just quicker to get through. Double adds now, it's, oh dear. Let's get that going. Come on. Poor old dog's body is on the uh, generator. Yeah, we get that um, done, we can close in the laboratory, and that'll give us a little bonus. Uh, yeah, this is, this is really not a good location, because we're getting uh, soggy feet as well going for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the water cooler, because we should have got that. have the water cooler, pop that in. Advanced research done, so we'll whip through the early research. Oh, the other thing we need for the Great Hall is the uh, flower pot just to get the little decor item we'll grab the automation wire as well because like always first thing i usually go straight for a spom uh that's going to keep us hot as well so 
Uh, we, we won't have to worry too much about um, heat once we get, uh, get a spawn going. Of course we'll be using the classic Rodriguez, that's my preferred method of oxygen generation. Just find it easier, as I said last time. It's, it's self-limiting as well, so when you don't need oxygen, it doesn't run. Unlike a, uh, a Hydra, which just uses all of your water, <laughs> and uh, that's the end of it. Uh, okay, but advanced research. So what we'll do, uh, we'll relocate the food storage, and we'll put the... God, they're going so quickly. We'll put the supercomputer, because you want it in the light of the printing board, because you get a nice little lit workspace bonus when you put it in the light. Um, and server, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. <laughs> yes, uh, Prime, Prime is a great way, because if you've got it already and it's free, effectively, um, no, use that to support, support someone. If you don't support me, support another, your, one of your favourite uh, Twitch streams. But, um, better than giving the money to, to Bezos. <laughs> Take the uh, take the free money. Okay, well, now, how is your dad gonna um, gonna follow his favourite Twitch subscribe his Twitch channels now? God, keep my words out. It's not good for a uh, for a streamer, is it? <laughs> Just a streamer that can't talk, you know. Yeah, I think your dad needs to needs to follow all his favourite Twitch streamers. Can be very confused. All right, okay. Fair enough. I mean, I think I think I have some. Uh, I'm sure I have some older older viewers out there. My uh, I do have some age demographics off of uh, off YouTube. I won't share those, of course, but um, it's mostly <laughs> it's mostly like 25 to 35, obviously. But there are there are a few that are on on the extreme end. So I'm not sure if I believe he's had mate on that. <laughs> yeah, I know you too well. Uh, right, so yeah, we'll get the supercomputer going. In the meantime, we'll just build up the, uh, the rooms. Another tip as well, you can just turn off the water cooler. It still gives the the room bonus for the Great Hall, uh, but it doesn't need to be turned on, so just save the water. Again, we can could do with not using any more water up. Uh -huh. And that's smart home done. Again, we just grab the... Uh, the automation wire. The other thing we can probably want is uh, we can go for power, I suppose. We'll go straight for this coal gen and the batteries. Get that going. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've, we can put coal generators. In fact, I'm, I'm really not used to using coal generators because of doing all achievement runs where you can't use them. So I'm very used to uh, to not having them. Right, Joe. Joe came in with basically no interest. Oh dear. Okay, we'll give Joe carrying. Thank you. Uh, let's just bump, bump that. Let's get a little bit more oxygen up here. We were okay on oxygen, but could do a bit more. So one diffuser should do five dupes, although you do get a bit of losses thanks to just airflow. So usually one diffuser for four dupes is very safe. It's a good number to go for. In the meantime, we'll just build all this out. Uh, we can do the plant pot as well. Get that built. And don't really know what's going in here, so something. More, more bedrooms. Not sure exactly how big to make this space because we're going to need to uh, do more. Um, yeah, but I don't know how worried we should be about freezing this water because although, yes, it is minus eight down here, um, water has a lot of heat capacity. It, there is a lot of, it would take a lot of energy to take this down to freezing so it would probably overpower the the surroundings down here um i don't know we need to we need to do something because well ideally we'd like to go down this yeah this water pocket is no longer a water pocket um and also this water is incredibly in the way so maybe all right idea time let's start going across here okay yeah, we'll leave the um, pitch pump in place. And we start putting some coal power in here. Now regulation. So we are we're definitely not building not building any coal generators without smart batteries. Never do that. So just waste coal and make a load of heat. That's the wrong button. There we are. Copy settings. Make that left only. No reason not to. 
and we'll put the one briar seed we got in here. Uh, it might be a bit cold for the briar seed, so this may this may not work out so well. I don't think we have anything else yet. A joyous seed. Uh, so, so these all only go down to zero. In fact, wow, the briar seed goes down to ten. A joyous seed would be better. Uh, I rough collie as well. So yes, so we, we can have a cold run. There's a bit of lead here actually. That would that would be useful. Uh, that'll be free refined metal, and also uh, uranium ore. Not that radioactive. You don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, so the question is as well. Then how are we going to do Atmo suits? Speed run the oil by me. I would have to get down there as well. Six beds are taken. It, it does look like that. Yes, I will welcome me a bit more. So these two just look like they are. Uh, um, they're taken, but they're not. They're actually unassigned. Uh, we, ooh. Yeah, I was going to say we don't have the advanced research skill, but we do now. So let's grab that. Assistant caretaker is going to take that in. Uh, but everything looking good so far. We have no food uh, generation, which could be a bit of a problem. So I'm thinking, can you put a micro mushroom in a laboratory? Does that do anything for it? Or does, that should be fine, right? I think that's fine. Let's do that. But yeah, we probably want to grab as much muck root as we can. Uh, that's going to sustain us for a while. It's going to get too cold for um, for mealwood, which is going to be a problem. So we need to be careful with that. I really don't know what to do with this water. It's uh, very annoying. So anyway, let's plan for Atmo suits. So. And we're thinking ahead. We'll have this as the main base. We'll do a double line here. Uh, and then I'll do my normal thing. Do we do four per layer or eight? Because in theory we get eight beds. But we don't have a bathroom. The I think four per layer is probably fine. And it'll work itself out. Let's go with four. Then that's going to put uh, four suit docks, suit checkpoint, and then a door, which we can just put there for good measure. And then, yeah, we'll ladder that. And then that means our main ladder is going to go uh, here. So this will be the one we run right the way up and down. And generally a good idea. Just a big exploration ladder. And try and put that in the right place. Because moving it is a bit of a pain. Although you can do. Um, that's the thing with only. I mean, if you can get it in the right place at the start, it will help. But you can always tear down everything and start again. So... Don't fear too much. We'll get hard digging. That's great for the head caretaker. And uh, we've already got the mechatronics, obviously. What do we want? And these ones are actually useful. <laughs> Shouldn't affect the lab. Yeah, lab's fine. I don't know if this actually gets a benefit from the lab or not, but... Um, there you go. Sure, we'll find it out. And so we should be doing... We're doing the smart battery research. So if we can get in here for some lead, we although we also need we need the level two digging skill for that. That'll get us some refined metal straight away with that that lead. So that's good. Uh, right, another dupe. Do we take more food? Mm, food is tempting at this point. Uh, are any of these? We've got husbandry. I think should we do some ran ranching? We could set up a hatch ranch that's more temperature resistant. Uh, um, sorry. Uh, let's grab let's grab the nails and. Uh, who was next? So into the main tier, uh, friendly times three. Uh, got the random draws. Thank you for being uh, Twitch subscribed. There we are. So let me bring those guys in, and uh, there we go. Hopefully we'll get we'll get all of our Twitch subscribers and Patreon members in. That'd be good. So we've got um we've got mush bars. If we need mush bars, it's going to keep us alive. Or he has mechatronics. Uh, no, they don't. No. Well, it literally just checks for the skill and that is it. So if you've got the skill, you're all good. Um, yeah, we've got loads of water here, so we should be fine. We have to watch out a little bit. Uh, we're dripping. Okay. I'm very tempted to drip this water uh, into our main basin, although that is entirely going to flood this. i tell you what. Um, let's... Uh, Let's rework this a bit. Uh, we'll put that over there as well. 
Let's rework rework that to there because this is uh, this is not a good setup. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, you're not going to? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, CZ. Ugh, that sucks. Is there no kind of, um... In the UK we have what we, what's called clearing, where if you don't get into your first choices, you get... Um, there are other options for you. So, universities that are, have open places. Oh no, we're gonna kill our hatch! Whoops. Oh well, hopefully we've got some more. I don't know. Um... Yeah, there's other ways to uh, get in. But yeah, we'll, we'll drain this water into there and hopefully that'll keep it kind of warmish. And uh... Right, we're going we're gonna to have quite a lot of flooding for now. Oh. Okay, right, actually, actually has gone. Let's uh, dig that through as well. Do some underwater digging, which is not ideal, but, you know. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick a specific seed, I haven't pre-seen this one, I don't know what's in it. It's just a random one, but I picked Geoactive and I think it was Metal Rich, both of which are quite nice. So, well, uh, yeah, we should get some nice benefits from it, but I haven't chosen it specifically for any particular trait. I just picked one that seemed interesting, it's a rhyme one, obviously, that's why everything is very blue right now. Uh, okay. We have the batteries. Um, we will also need the tepidizer. That is going to be quite important on this run. Well, let's um, let's keep working our way through to all of the spawn bits that we're going to need. It's important. In previous scores and switching on fresh. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm There's always options. Yeah, don't um, don't fret about it too much. Everything seems so important when you're trying to apply for uni, but there's always options for you. No, you'll you'll find something. Okay. Uh, yeah, doing that's not going to do anything now. So, so the flooding will ease. Our food is flooded. By the way, if there's water on the box, just a tip. Um, even though this is carbon dioxide, water will uh, make this non-sterile. Uh, interestingly, liquid chlorine, liquid carbon dioxide also non-sterile. So this has to be in gas sterile. Um, for anyone that might have heard it, come across that before. Right, we'll grab the electrolyzers I suppose. Definitely going to need that for a spawn, so... Okay, how are we doing? <laughs> uh, we probably ruin yeah, ruined our room bonus there. We should probably put that back in. Top priority. And uh, this flower pot. <laughs> Alright, so this is now too big and this is too cold. Hmm. We kind of need to find a joyous seed or heat this up. Uh, we will need to do a heating loop for this, so for anyone that's played Rhyme before, of course it's very cold. Uh, heating loop is usually by far the best way to, um, to sort out the planetoid, so we'll, we'll give that a go. At some point. We will need a tepidizer for that. Tepidizer is the best way to heat stuff up and a cooling loop is the best way to transfer the heat. So uh, yeah we have a, a little bit of a hot pocket down here. So it's because water. Water has a lot of heat. It takes a lot of heat to move. <laughs> yes Rough Collie knows the pain of liquid chlorine. Don't overcool. Overcool your, uh, your infinite food setups. And do watch out for that. Um, yes, so you need both Sandra Line for, for infinite storage. Um, both will help, but uh, individually, but you, need, you do need both. Uh, but we can do now. I don't think we're going to get to this uh, lead anytime soon because we're going to need... Um, we're going to need caretaker... Uh, why, why does he have a zero after his name? What happened there? Um, our head caretaker is going to need the digging, second digging skill, which is going to take a while. Uh, okay. So what we should probably do is lop down uh, Rock Crusher. And uh, we can use that as well, so that'll be fine. We'll just go for some coal power. Mm -hmm. uh, we could probably do some insulated tiles as well, that might help just keep the base a little more temperature controlled. Useful. <laughs> Seeing run with so few tubes, yeah. I 
I'm used to having many dupes. So, I mean, the last one, so on the Cosmic Archaeologist one, which I did, also on YouTube, that had, I went to 16 dupes on there. So currently, we're going to go for all of our, all the Twitch members and Patreon members, which I think, uh, in total, comes out to 24, I believe. Maybe 25 now. Are you, um... Uh, server, you also subbed, didn't you? So I need to add you to the list. Let me, um, let me do that. Make sure you're on the list. And I will re-roll the, um, uh, the numbers. So you may end up at the top of the list. You may end up at the bottom. I don't know. But it will be random. So let's just quickly do that on my lovely spreadsheet. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You are now somewhere on the order. Um, yes, yeah, food storage I did cover in the food. Well, obviously in the food storage. Oh, like. right, yeah, so Tepatizer is down here. So what I also want is airflow tiles. Airflow tiles are very important to help the gas get around the base. Uh, and the insulation comes straight after that. So, yeah, what will happen is we get a lot of carbon dioxide build up. Um, we'll probably need to dig it. Because it will all fall and we need more space down here. We can also pop some uh, some of this through. So you actually, you need for a smart battery and enough automation wire. Just need five. So we'll just do do that. Try and keep these wires a bit neat, and then we can uh, we can plop the coal generator and the smart battery. Now usually we'll try and keep the coal generators kind of away from the base because they make heat. Uh, here we desperately need the heat, so we'll keep it quite close by. And this will add a little bit to the base. Uh, definitely not enough to fight off the incoming cold, but it will help. So let's uh, get that done. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I see there's a nice there's a geyser over here. So if you're looking for geysers, buried geysers, you've got this neutronium. If you see the four uh, horizontal tiles, you can uh, you can use all, if you set it to yellow alerts, that's priority zero, top priority. Hover over that, tells you it's a steam vent. A little bit exploited that, but I think it's fine. You can also dig it up, of course. If you don't dig this tile, this is the special tile. That tells you whether it's covered or not. So uh, you can also dig everything except for that, and you'll find out what it is. Um, yes, uh, I hit Dark Carrot. And yeah, a cool steam vent is actually very good. Um, normally, I wouldn't be too fussed about cool steam vents because they're very hot. Uh, although they have cool in the name, steam itself is quite hot. So uh, usually too much heat but obviously everything's cold so the more heat we can get the better and you put a light bulb oh that's true that's true why not do that uh, except there we go oh so you can have to power it mm -hmm. i'll try and make space for this let's sweep that up say so we will need enough space for the carbon dioxide remember the carbon dioxide is going to fall this is the pit it's going into currently, and we'll need to make a bigger one. There's, there's space down here for it to go to. Um, yeah, light bulbs are actually quite good at heating. They are. They do get very hot in this game. Make a lot of heat. Right, dig up there. Perfect. A little bit of mopping. A little bit of digging. Already, I'm um, 14. That is that is flying up in temperature. These things make so much heat. It's crazy. How much is this? 16 kilo. Yeah, okay. Anyway, all of this is going to help our heat production. Pressure management, awesome. So, airflow tiles. Uh, I have a spacing pattern I like to use. I use one every four tiles, and I always do it the same way. Makes it nice and even. Because uh, I'm a little bit OCD like that. <laughs> and we'll make this base. This base isn't going to be the end base, so we don't need to make it super nice, but we need to make it functional, and airflow tiles will help with that. Also pop that in. Okay, just get rid of the, the natural tiles. I prefer getting rid of the natural tiles because uh, it lets you build wires and pipes and stuff through them, and it saves me problems later. It's asymmetric. It has to be asymmetric because you've got 16. I suppose unless you go in the middle. There's, there's no way to make this spacing symmetric. I suppose you could use another one. Okay, I'm a little worried about food at this point, because we're not making any food. Um, and also... Uh, yeah, do we take more dupes? We just take the algae. 
don't think he's great. I mean, agriculture is actually, that's quite good. The athletics is bad. Calories bad. Plumbing. Well, that's quite good, but he eats more food. I'm not going to, right, we're going to not take a dupe for now because I am, I am worried about the food situation. We can always uh, mush bar it. No ideal. Middle. You place two. Well, I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm, I'm going. This is my normal pattern. I've done it in loads of bases now. And that's what I'm going for. I'm not too fussed about symmetry on that. So, sorry. You're going to have to, we have to go with it. <laughs> OCD triggered. Okay, right, now we have enough for the smart battery, and I've put the wire in the wrong place. And then a little bit of automation wire, and all you've got to do is connect the battery to the generator. So that will then turn off the generator when there is no power needed. So that means you don't waste any extra coal, you don't make any extra heat, although at this point um, having extra heat would probably be a good thing. Still, we'll do that. We've got a little shine bug in here as well. <laughs> too much space for some yeah symmetry takes up space that is that is for sure say so when we get to when we get to the top we'll, we'll probably will make it nice and symmetrical when we do our final luxury base this is the luxury hotel run uh, when we actually start building the hotel it will be um, it'll be all right we'll make that nice and symmetrical <laughs> very important mm -hmm. Uh, so yes, yeah, so what we can do is once we get down here, we can we can come in sideways. Although annoyingly, this is already we're having carbon dioxide issues. Um, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare for them to build in. So uh, although we do, yeah, we can come dig all the muckroot up, which is uh, going to help food. There's loads of muckroot around, so we are we're not worried about that. Okay, cool. Smart battery. We'll take that battery out. And uh, give up. There you go, bump that up. Let's see, we've now, we will have failed uh, super sustainability, but this is not an achievement run. And we managed to get uh, the automation one. So yeah, when this gets to, let's see, we set this to 90-20 because I have the default settings mod. Uh, you do want to take this off 100-0. Uh, because if you want it low, lower than 100, because there's a little animation that runs when it gets to 100, you'll waste a tiny bit of fuel. And you don't want to get to zero where everything stops working, so 20 is the minimum at which it turns on. But now the coal will power everything we need. Uh, the hamster wheel should hopefully not be uh, required, and uh, that's going to speed up our uh, our progress because we no longer have to run on hamster wheels, uh, which is good. We can free our dupes up. What other more important things? Um, okay, so we can do that. Uh, this does. I'm interesting when you drag it over, it goes over air flow tiles, but not over designs. So you can do that. Let me do that, and then we should get some insulation soon as well. Um, if you put normal battery, um, usually the normal battery will charge quicker than the smart battery uh, if you're using a small one. If you use a jumbo one, uh, maybe, but I mean, why not just set this to 90, you know? It won't make any difference. Rather than uh, try and game it, just just, just make it simple. Let's, uh, let's not overcomplicate things. Yeah, but the, the jumbo battery is bigger, bigger capacity. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, temperature modulations. We've got some insulation. Uh, and then let's go for the tepidizer as well. Where is the tepidizer? That's there. We want that one. And then what we can start doing is insulating the base. Now, annoyingly, I don't have any igneous rock. Um, generally, so making it, oh, we do have igneous rock now. Igneous rock is the best kind of common material to make insulation out of. You can see that's granite. Uh, where is the igneous rock? Can't, I'm being a bit blind. Uh, let's go on the minerals. Granite, igneous rock, okay. It's kind of buried in this seam here. Uh, you won't find it in the in the starting biome. I suppose there's a bit up here as well. That's igneous too. Um, yeah, by the end of the game, you end up with absolutely loads of igneous rock. And at the start, you don't have any. And it's very annoying. It's probably definitely the most common rock, I think, by the time you get to the end. Is that accurate? I don't know if I'm... But that's an accurate statement. Um... I have uh, Borgosh, Borgosh, welcome in as well. Uh, so yeah, should we do some ranching? I mean, it feels like we could probably do some ranching. Just don't know where. Maybe we'll be off the side. Um, yeah, we want to use igneous rock for this because 
it's just a better material. Oh, unfortunately we only had enough for two tiles. Okay, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. But yeah, we'll insulate the base in, and that's gonna help us with um with keeping the temperature stable. And then we'll start working on a heating loop. We can already go for that. I mean, I think probably Rodriguez first, and then we can do heating loop after that. Um, we'll put a we'll put a little door out here for now because we can start we start building things down here before we. Or should we do stuff over here? Uh, okay, can that idea? And um, we'll build on this side. This side can be well, we put like the Rodriguez and stuff because this is outside the base and always will be rather than do this side. <coughs> Infiltration, yeah, they are. We're really whipping through the research. Ooh. This is a rust biome up here. Yeah, well, it'll help a lot with the heat. Um, another geyser as well, if you spotted it, well done. Uh, neutronium there, so let's just check. That is a salt water geyser. That's a, a not a cool one either, so that's 85 degrees salt water, so that is also helpful. Uh, the problem is, we can't unlock any of these because we don't have the third tier of digging. It's going to take a little while to get there to get to the. Um, to get to that in fact although so on this one the key tile which is this one is accessible without it so we can be a bit sneaky and dig our way around and we should be able to get that one open uh, without doing without digging through the hard stuff unfortunately um this one is doable too actually this one is doable if you're coming from below so i'm just looking for a path that gets me to this tile and uh, there's a two tile here two tile there there is a uh Two tile there. There is a tile there. There's a tile there. And there is a root there. So that should give us... Oh no, that one bit of abyss light's going to screw us over, is it? Damn it. Yeah, okay, that one bit of abyss light's going to stop us. But that's at least that's level 2 digging and not level 3 like the Ascidian. So we can get in there. Uh, oh no, I don't... Uh. Don't make me do a Hydra. I don't know how to do Hydra. Plus, I don't want... I, I mentioned this at the start, why I don't do Hydras, because it just uses all my water up. I need water for stuff. I don't want to use... I'm not a fan of the Hydra. I don't think it has the benefits. Uh, I don't I don't want infinite water. I want the right... I want, I infinite oxygen. I want the right amount of oxygen. Uh, right. Do we close this in like this, or is this too small? I think it's probably too small. Uh, where is... okay. We'll leave that open. Is this gonna be the bottom of the base? So we just go go up from here? We can we can make a nice sink here, I suppose. How... Uh, I don't want to go too tall because uh, it's gonna be it's just gonna be too big if we go too tall. There's no, there's no need to go nuts like that. Uh, so we could do... this is an unassigned room, so probably be another good bedroom. Oh, hold on. Uh, schedules. I already need to look at schedules. Why, Leo? Why? Let's, uh, let's move these guys on the other one. And we'll make this... So we'll just adjust this to plus two or plus two. I mean, how many dupes are we going to need? I say, yeah, we had 24. So uh, if we do it in four, 20 to six, 12, four, so plus four. We'll offset this by four. So what we just do is grab this slot. One, two, three, four. You don't really need the bathroom slot, but... I just leave it in anyway, and we we offset this by four. One, two, three. Uh, so we're just making the same one. We'll do um we'll do three downtime slots because why not? One, two, three, and there we go. Then I'll use the toilet at different times. Was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Improved plumbing. So yeah, then we can also start on the Rodriguez out here. We'll leave. We'll even leave room for a. Uh, a uh, plastic tube. Who knows? Maybe we might get some brack wax on that in the future when the the, the moo update comes through, which probably will do soon. Uh, expecting that to be out soon. Uh, so we can definitely get to this one. We can't get to that one till we get level two digging, which the uh, the head caretaker is is well on his way to getting. So, wait. Yeah, the problem is that those two systems are just so effective. So. They're kind of optimal. Why would you do anything else? Right, so good for power. We do. We, hmm. So what I should really do is uh, close this in because if we're not going to get the uh, if we're not going to get the great hall, then this is too big for a mess hall, isn't it? Sixty-four. 
If we just close this up a bit, at least we'll get the mess hall. I mean, that's plus three, so we shouldn't sniff at plus three. I mean, even if we can't get the plus six, because this plant's too cold. Uh, there we go. So let's get something. And then once we get the right plant, or we heat it up, we can... Uh, yeah, in fact, this is already zero degrees, so we're definitely going to need to heat up. Um, done. Okay, we're going up, we're going down. We're going all around. Um... Uh, the other thing I do need is some gold, obviously, for the Rodriguez. It's always good to make it out of gold. Um, I see a little bit down here, a little bit of vein. This is the uh, the swamp biome. Also, interestingly, I mean, definitely a benefit of rhyme is there is no germs, because it is so cold that all of these slime on germs just die, so not a problem. Um, okay, Ox Agriculture... This strength is bad. Josh... We're gonna hold. We're gonna hold off for now. You yeah, know, I'm just eyeing the food situation. We're not making any mush bars yet. We're still living off. Um, uh, still living off the uh, the muck root, which is fine. Uh, what I might just do now is prioritise uh, the research onto researching and the digger onto digging. Do be a little bit careful with this early on. It's always my advice. Don't you don't want to just assign one thing to everyone because then the other stuff will not get done, and it makes your your P menu here entirely irrelevant. So, if you don't have someone to cover kind of everything that you need, be very sparing with using those uh, those two priorities because they just override everything. Um, what else are we gonna get? Um, poor Joe doesn't really have any particular specialities, so uh, we'll just do that, I suppose. Oh, attribute increase, lovely. Uh, title to one particular design. Yeah, submerged electric. Well, yeah, I, I usually just call all of those hydras, to be honest. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, so, yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll go with the half Rodriguez. Always a good start. Uh, if you've seen my VODs, you know, you must know how to build a Rodriguez by now. Fortunately, we still don't have enough igneous rock. It's rather annoying. Ah, liquid. Okay, so we have the liquid heating now, which is great. Uh, what else do we want? Is there anything else we need? Uh, gas pumps? Do we have... We have the ventilation, okay. I suppose we can go for the... We need the, the atmos sensors, that'll be one. So, yeah, let's uh, let's plough through here. And come... Igneous rock and gold amalgam, that's both what we want. Let's go grab all of that. Okay, this abyssal light is going to be on the edge of our Rodriguez, but it'll hold us in anyway. I also think we're very close to... Our second level of digging, which will sort us out all the same. Oh, I see with the chlorine in this little uh, rust pocket, it's just turned to, or um, these turn pockets turned into liquid. Everything's everything's very cold. Really, oh, we got some cobalt here too. Cool. Funny seeing that on rhyme because that's a spaced out DLC thing, of course. Oh, it has excellent fruit as well. If we can get through to it, which we can, get through to that. It's going below. Again, that's more food. We can just dig that up. It's like nine electrolyzers. Yeah, or well maybe. You can you can burn the, the oxygen if you want. Just use it for something else. Uh, cool. But now we have a little bit of gold. Uh, yeah, it always helps make it out of gold because they will overheat otherwise. So, uh, it's not a lot of gold. And, uh, oh, the other thing we're going to need is heavy watt wires. We don't have any of those yet. So... Um, plus we'll need to put the hydrogen gens on top, so we probably need more gold amalgam. Uh, annoyingly, also the thimble reeds are all going to be completely uh, unusable. Thimble reeds like it very warm, and it is not very warm here. You got enough insulated? I think so. I'm liking this, looking neat. Water around the spawn to cool the oxygen. Yeah, you can also do that, yeah. No, the middle pump's not too high. Uh, so, if, if anything, I actually changed it to make it one higher because um, a commenter did helpfully say the so the pump area is across like this. So, having it one higher actually helps. Um, so, yeah, it is one higher than I I put in the tutorial, I think, because um, so I didn't think about that. So, it doesn't make much difference. But anyway, we'll do it. Uh, what was the other thing we need? Uh, we need the hydrogens, we need the power cables, so... 
Where are the hydrogen generators? There it is, all in the same one, perfect. Grab all that. Yeah, we'll start insulating this in, so that'll uh, give us something. If we make this the bottom... Um, and we'll do a kind of a... Uh, we'll do a nice sump design like this. So a sump or a funnel. A sump is the engineering term, really. Uh, like what you have on a car to pick up oil that gets caught at the bottom. So we'll, we'll funnel it towards the middle and then we can put a little carbon dioxide pump at the bottom. That will uh, catch everything for us. Um, it will be slightly offset obviously because we've got the Atmos suits on this side. This is not going to be the middle of the funnel. It will end up being somewhere around here but we'll we'll just uh, we'll work with that. Probably more important the gas flow is correct. Wi-Fi adapters. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that Rizzi because yeah it's so annoying when you're trying to do stream stuff and the, the hardware doesn't work of uh, all software. <laughs> I felt I feel your pain on that. It's uh, it's bad because it's not just you that you're letting down. It's like it's the viewers that also then get a, a bad experience. So uh, it's unreachable. What are you on about unreachable? It's, it's, uh, uh, but yeah, I'm glad to have you in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Your runs. Are your runs are going smoothly. Uh, I'm, I haven't touched base recently, I don't think. It's been a little, little while. Uh, let me give a Rizzia shout. If you guys don't know a Rizzia, um and you like Oni and you like fish, perfect channel for you. Uh, it was playing Dyson Sphere, I see. Well, there you go. Not even playing Oni. Uh, I just... <laughs> I, yes, possibly. I just seem to pick rhyme. I mean, you know, I, I didn't start this run-up with the the intent of doing it. I kind of got here and was like, what should we play? And then people said rhyme. And I, I went with it. I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. It's been a while since I've done a rhyme one, so at least I can I can tackle the heating element, which is usually usually cooling is the thing to tackle, so we'll be tackling heating on this run. Um, and it, it, hopefully I aim to demonstrate it's not that difficult. That's going to be my goal, to show you guys that heating isn't actually tricky. If anything, it's probably easier than cooling. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need some refined metal. Uh, awesome, right, advanced power regulation. Uh, keep the, let's keep the research going, although I don't think I desperately need anything right now. Um, I suppose the metal refinery would would also warm some stuff up. Let's grab the there's some toilet stuff. We can, we can convert that too. Uh, right, and yeah, we'll just heavy wop this up so it makes it nice and easy. Um, I'll come around the doors. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more copper. Trying to copper. Oh, we also have aluminium too. Ooh, nice. Now we could... If we use a little bit of aluminium around the tepidizer, that's really going to make the... Heat transfer, great. Aluminium is such a good conductor. It's significantly better than basically every other metal, except for thermium. So aluminium's great. Uh, yes, well, we found I found a cool steam vent here. I just can't get at it, unfortunately. It's buried inside uh, that, although we are getting very close to getting the, the level 2 skill. Um, field research? Let's go field research. I don't think we're going to need astronomy for a little while, because this is a classic size map. So getting to the top is going to take a while, and we're not on the skewed, skewed one. Yeah, the buried ones are salt water, so we can get to that, and it will be cool. We just need to uh, actually get on with it, because these guys are taking ages. Got them faffing around with other stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, we can already... Um, hydrogen generator, we can use our... Our little gold man. We're going to need another smart battery as well, so... We probably need a little bit even more copper than that. You can tame the moves for Brackeen to us to. I mean, I think I will have to, Leo. I don't. I don't see any other choice. I mean, you know, if we want max morale, which is the goal, then they're going to need a water cooler with Brackeen in uh, when they add it, of course. Yeah, no, aluminium is crazy, so it's great that we've got it on this map. You know, anything that anything that improves morale, we're going to have to go for. So, um, right, but I should do. I'm. I'm Definitely getting on top of my cuts for YouTube. I'm paying more attention to time. So 
This is going to be the end of the very first episode for this run. I'm going to pause it here for, for that. So you're watching YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will enjoy the series. There's going to be lots more to come. Uh, and hopefully I will see you next time.